Welcome Freedom Hero. We are continuing the series on ClickFunnels so you can see different aspects of it and have enough information to be able to decide yourself if it is the best marketing automation tool specifically for you. In the previous episode, we talked about 15 important things to check before and during your ClickFunnels trial. And in this episode, you will find out about five more essential things, including the hidden golden nuggets and the best way to get the most out of the free trial. My name is Istvan Boydashu and this is the 47 Marketing Show. Just a quick reminder before we carry on with the review. As I'm doing this review, I try to step into the shoes of an entrepreneur who has recently started exploring marketing wants to keep things simple and wants to get more marketing done in less time without needing to be technical. Okay, let's continue where we left off in the previous episode. Number 16, the test. The best way to get the most out of your trial is to actually test the tool and the related elements. Set yourself a small goal that you want to achieve during the test and work on that to have a more real experience. Besides testing the software, test one to relevant trainings that can help you to achieve your test goal. In case of any new software, it is a good idea to test the support and the community as well, ask them questions and see how much they help you. When it comes to ClickFunnels, a good small uh, goal can be setting up a funnel. And in the following demo, I will show you how to do that. Okay, let's start setting up a funnel. Let's say the goal is to get some leads for your business. So we will go into the direction. There is one thing that we need to prepare before we um, do this. And uh, so let's go to the follow up funnels email list. Uh, in a few minutes, you will see why we are doing uh, this tab. So let's create a new email list. Just simply, um, simply set a name uh, for it and create a new list. And um, leads. And here you will be able to see the um, the subscribers, who, the people, the leads who opted in. Um, so let's go to click funnels. And there's a menu. Uh, menu called build funnel so let's start with this there are two ways to build a funnel one of them is essentially creating a custom funnel but as you're new to um, new to the process I recommend you to start with the super easy way and just follow the step-by-step -step, um, guide so as you can see, you can choose a goal that you want to collect email addresses, um, so you build your list, um, or sell a, your products, or host a webinar. In our case, let's go for building a list to, to get leads. Um, so let's choose this one, and then um, you set a name uh, simply let's name it as lead funnel just for the test uh, as you can see there's a bit of information here that how it's going to look like a landing page and a thank you page and when you click on the build funnel button it will take uh, for a moment to load uh, those steps as you can see it's created two steps one of them is the opt-in uh, where people will land um, and, the, and the thank you page. In a moment, we'll go through those, um, those steps. A bit above this, there is a launch uh, checklist that you, can, that you can open if you need uh, a bit of extra help. It gives you uh, a list of things to do uh, to launch uh, this funnel. There are a couple of tabs uh, on the top, these tabs, what we are looking at right now. And um, in a moment, I will explain everything here. There is a start um, menu where you will be able to see the how many people opted in um, and on what, uh, what these and dates. 
there is a contact uh, tab which uh, where you will be able to see the people who opted in there is a settings tab which has from basic settings like uh, the name of the of the funnel which were the set um, and more advanced um, settings uh, throughout things like connecting to other uh, ops like Gmail and, and different other uh, ops in webhooks. These are more advanced uh, settings. For now, for the test, let's focus on it specifically um, for the test. So two things I want to mention. One of them is the domain name. Um, so by default, the your funnel will be available under the uh, ClickFunnels domain name. At the moment, we are not able to see that. Um, later on, I will show you. Uh, first, we will need to choose this, and then uh, we will see the domain. Anyway, so the by default, uh, the domain is 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 going to be a subdomain of ClickFunnels. And if you want to change it to your own brand, own uh, business, then you can select here um, the domain. There's a link here. You can open it and add uh, new domains. So just clicking it. And there are two options. One of them is registering a new domain via ClickFunnels. And the other option is using an existing domain name that you already have. Um, Whichever you choose, there are easy, st easy steps to follow. Uh, in this demo, we're not going to go into that deeper, uh, but you know where you can uh, do that. And the other one is the head tracking code, where you can add Google Analytics and Facebook, um, Facebook Pixel and similar tracking codes. And what you add here is going to be um, added to each step of the funnel. Um, this is two notes and let's move on to the to the opt-in step so basically this is this is the only steps uh, panel and um, and here's the opt-in as you can see you have many options to choose from uh, many pre-designed opt-in pages that you can choose from anything that you like you can just move your mouse over it and there's a preview button and you can actually check it out in a bigger um, bigger screen let's say this is not what uh, we want to choose um, so you can scroll down and and just go through it and let's say uh, this looks like something uh, of your imagination for example then you can preview it um, and okay this looks like something that um, you can imagine then the next step what you will need to do is select the template this button it takes a few seconds and that opt-in page is going to be imported into your uh, account and it's it's set up um, what um, you um, what you need to do here is, is basically simply click on the edit page button and um, and it open a really simple and intuitive uh, editor where you can change anything the the green if you move your mouse around uh, over the elements things are going to pop up like um, if I'm here as you can see there's a green um, green uh, panel this shows a section and uh, if you click on the gear icon you can set things on the section for example let's say i want to change the podding the gap that is on the top in this section you can just move this and it simply changes right away um, as you move your mouse around the blue ones are rows um, in this area again you can click on the settings icon and you can easily change things around and it shows um, shows right away with the the smallest elements on the page are the elements that shows with an orange um, orange border here as well you can simply 
with the elements usually you can do two things if it's text uh, that you can click into it and you can edit the edit the text simply as you would edit it um, in a word document and you can highlight and you can just underline things or cross and use these and beside that that is a gear icon a settings icon as well where you can change things you can change font sizes you can change the color of the text um, and many other options there's an advanced uh, top as well where you can uh, change things you can set border and, and similar things the when you want to move around things it's really simple you can just grab and move things around easily just drag and drag and drop it and simple to to move things around as you wish also if you like if you don't like elements you can delete it in a moment i'll show you that as well um so you can add sections rules um and elements uh, simply let's say we want to add a new section to the top and simply add a new row let's say two columns um one of them simply you can when you add a new element it will show up a site panel and you have many options from uh, headlines, paragraphs, bullet point list, images, videos, and many other options that you can choose from and add it. Let's say a headline. I'm just gonna drag and drop it here, and it's not visible, so we can click on the settings and change the color to white. So now it's visible. And on the other side, let's say I want to add an image. Uh, just simply click on it and and it shows up click on the settings uh, settings icon and you can select an image uh, you can upload your own image or you have the option to search for uh, search for new images um, on, on pixabay or you can find it on, on splash um, and just import them Let's see for now we're gonna use this image and as you can see it's it's there it's really simple and with the columns you can resize them easily with the image as well you have settings you can set links and you can set maximum size for it and um, with um, if you don't like an element and you don't need it anymore when you move your mouse around you can see sections and the rules and the elements all of them has this delete icon so you can simply remove any of them um, as you wish and um, just like that you can change colors you can change anything on the page um, that you want to and there is another section, the, the set things, uh, where you can set some general settings, the fonts, the backgrounds, some advanced uh, settings like custom CSS, custom design, um, tracking code, um, you can set SEO, uh, meta, data. Uh, again, this is like more advanced, but, but still like really simple and easy to use, as you can see, title, description, keywords, um, you can set a social image. This is the image when you share the, the link uh, of this page, then Facebook, Twitter, for example, they pull in this image um, and it's more outstanding on, on social media, which is which is great. And there is an integration. So basically what happens here, um, what happens here that people are going to opt in they will type in that email address and obviously when they type in the email address that email address needs to go somewhere which is the email list and if you remember we created an email list a bit earlier in this uh, demo and in the settings integrations 
let's set this to select if you are using Platinum uh, plan of ClickFunnels, then you will see this ClickFunnels internal action ethics that you can use. Um, and action, let's say odd to list, uh, list to odd the leads. This is the list that we created. And just by selecting, it shows that it's connected. And now let's save this one. And once you change around things and you, you like it, you can preview it with this button and it will show the way that people are going to uh, see it. And um, when people click on it, this shows up this um, form that they can type in that. In a moment, we'll uh, test this. Uh, for now, uh, I'm gonna close this one and and uh, let's go back you can click on the exit because the next thing that we need to do is actually prepare the thank you page uh, the thank you page is the page that people will see after the opt-in and just like with the opt-in page you can simply you have many options that you can select from and you can scroll down look it through preview it um, and let's say like in our case, we on the landing page, on the opt-in page, we said that they're going to, if they fill in their email address, that they're going to get a video. And let's say your goal is to, to get the leads to watch your video. And then after the one, after watching the video to, to get them to call you, then, then for example, this page is, it's gonna be a good option or this one. Uh, for now, let's use this one and just can simply select that uh, template and um, here again edit the page and look at these pages as, as fundamentals so it may not gonna be exactly the way you want it to be but the editor is so easy to use to move around things and change text like um, so congratulations, maybe you want to say thank you uh, instead and you can simply change it and edit images, change the logos, the text, with the video for example, set things again. From YouTube all you need is just pasting a YouTube URL here and that video is going to show up, um, show up in, this, in this element. And just like on the opt-in page, you can move things around, change things, delete things. It's really simple. And once you have done that, um, simply you save, uh, save it. You can preview it as well to, to make sure that, that it looks the way you want it to, to look like. And after that, the, the last thing I want to show you is let's leave is to actually test it once you uh, edited the once you edited the opt-in page um, the thank you page and it looks like the way um, you want it to look like then then you go back to the opt-in page and there is a button here that with that one you can open this um, this funnel and, um, and as you can see, this is how it looks like. And simply, simply test it. Let's test it. Um, just like a user would click here and would fill in the details, like fill in the, the email address here. Normally this wouldn't show up like this. So your best email address, they fill it in. And, um, and then when they click on this button that it's going to take them to the thank you page, what we set up, and, um, and they can watch the video, they can call you. It's that simple. So as you can see, it is really simple to set up a funnel. It's, it's relatively simple and easy. Obviously, it requires some of your time to, some of your time to, to learn it. Uh, but it's just like everything else in life, every new things, it requires some learning curve. 
as you can see in just about like 10 20 minutes easily you can put something um, together it's it requires some time to to get used to it but it's it's relatively easy and simple even if you are not technical okay so this is this is it for the demo for now let's get back to the review number 17 hidden golden nuggets with a bit deeper research and asking the community sometimes you can find quite amazing hidden golden nuggets in the universe of a marketing tool in case of ClickFunnels, here are a few examples. On the dashboard of the tool, there is a kind of hidden panel because pretty much everything else stands out more on that page, so it's kind of easy to miss it. Um, and uh, that panel is called FunnelFlex Training with links that take you to a full-blown streaming service which, included, which is included in your ClickFunnels plan. To give you an idea why that is so cool, you can watch full trainings by Russell Brunson, Frank Kern, Dan Kennedy, Ryan Dice, Tony Robbins, and a lot more experts. People normally pay for those courses individually a lot of money, but you get access to them included in ClickFunnels. And some of those uh, trainings are even exclusive and only available on FunnelFlex. The normal ClickFunnels plan includes some of the trainings, while the Platinum plan includes all of them. And a warning about FunnelFlix, it can be highly addictive and you can end up binge watching a lot of great marketing videos in one go. Okay, the next hidden golden nugget is something you can't find on their website. If you stick around for a while, use ClickFunnels and keep your eyes open, you will see these special free web classes popping up from time to time, sometimes in emails, other times in a Facebook Live or odd. But what is so special about those free web classes? First of all, you can learn some amazing actionable marketing hacks on it. Uh, just give you two examples of many how to ethically steal over $1 million worth of funnel hacks from your competitors for under $100. And another one is um, how to get the exact same customers who are going to your competitor's website to start coming to your funnel instead. And that's not all. Uh, usually these web classes offer something special at the end of the class that is not available anywhere else. Sometimes uh, that opportunity is to get six months of ClickFunnels for free, other times something else amazing. Either you jump onto the offer at the end of the training or not, the web class delivers a ton of value for free that you can implement and benefit from it. I will leave you a few links uh, to some of those hidden free web classes in the description you can watch them even without a ClickFunnels trial. Okay, the next hidden golden nugget is something I mentioned in the previous episode as well. If you take your time, pay attention while you are registering your free trial, you will see an option to claim a free Funnel Hacker t-shirt in your size. These are a few hidden golden nuggets of many, and there is one more special one I want to share with you in a minute, I will get back to that and you will see why. Number 18, affiliate program. Depending on your situation, this might not be a big factor in your decision when you are choosing a marketing tool, but it still makes sense having a look because if you will love the software and will recommend it to others, why not benefit from it financially? When it comes to ClickFunnels, they have a pretty impressive affiliate program with various products. For example, when somebody signs up to ClickFunnels via your affiliate link, you get recurring commission each month till they are using this software. Besides that, you have the affiliate opportunity to recommend various other related marketing products like amazing books, summits, challenges, and online courses. And by leveraging the affiliate program, you can get to the point when you get more affiliate commissions then you pay for the marketing tool. And for those who recommend 100 um, active ClickFunnels customers, 
besides getting the monthly commission for, for all of them you also get an extra 500 per dollars per month towards your dream car and when 200 customers sign up via your affiliate link and they are actively using the tool then you get a thousand dollar extra per month towards your dream car plus when you hit those numbers you also get an award for each of them normally on stage on a live event in front of thousands of entrepreneurs obviously as nowadays large live gatherings are not allowed the winners get the awards in the post when you register to click finance you are automatically um, added, to the, uh, added to their affiliate program it's an optional opportunity you can decide to use if you want to Either you are only focusing on using the marketing tool or decide to recommend it to others, explore the affiliate dashboard that you can find under the profile menu. In a minute, I will tell you about another hidden golden nugget there. So first, you will see some useful information on the affiliate program like the recurring commission rates, the dream card contest rules, uh, link to the link to the ClickFunnels affiliate community, link to a free affiliate bootcamp, link to an, uh, an affiliate uh, best practice ebook, and more. And in the top right corner of the page, you can log into your affiliate dashboard by clicking on a button. On the affiliate dashboard, you will be able to see your earnings and other numbers, and most importantly, below that, you can find the product. Uh, you can recommend and by clicking on the affiliate tools get my link button along the page you can access relevant marketing materials and uh, your affiliate links earlier I mentioned earlier I mentioned you to check out the affiliate area whether you want to recommend ClickFunnels or not there are some hidden golden nuggets there some of the products and courses are like the software and the books are easy to find publicly. But other amazing products and courses are kind of hidden from the public and people only see those by recommendations or bump into them in a random blog post or see an advert someplace sometimes but inside the affiliate dashboard you have a list of all those amazing courses and products and you can cherry pick the most relevant ones for you and benefit from them okay let's move on with the review number 19 beyond the tool have a look around what the company does beyond the software it helps you to gain a wider view of the big picture and get an insight into how you can benefit more of being in the universe of that tool. In case of ClickFunnels, you will see that they do an awesome annual live event called Funnel Hacking Live, great speakers and even better networking opportunities with like-minded entrepreneurs. Normally, it's a live physical event Due to the pandemic, temporarily it turned into a virtual event. Besides that, ClickFunnels does free uh, marketing webinars. I mentioned those earlier and you can find them in the description as well. On top of that, you can pick up a lot of useful knowledge from that two podcast, the Marketing Secrets and the Funnel Hacker Radio which you can find on uh, major podcast streaming platforms for free. Uh, check out their official YouTube channel as well. Search for Russell Bronson, ClickFunnels. Uh, there you will also find great marketing videos. They are pretty much active on all major social media platforms as well and providing various values. So besides trying the software, go and explore all those resources as well. Either you decide to keep using the tool or not, you can benefit from the podcast, videos, etc. a lot. Uh, and before we move on, um, move on to the last step of the review. There is one more exciting beyond the tool element. They not only help entrepreneurs to succeed, they celebrate the success of the entrepreneurs with them. Those who make one, ten, or hundred million dollars using ClickFunnels, they get a two comma club award. Uh, I believe they handed over a 
thousand of odds like that so far. Okay, the last review step is number 20, the culture. From this review series, by now, you should have a good picture of the culture of the culture and the universe of ClickFunnels. Just a few audition notes to it, you can quite quickly realize, although it's a large company, it really is a more personal vibe with Ross Bronson as the face of the brand. He's one of the co-founders. When you spend some time in the universe of this tool, you will hear about the ways they are giving back to society. They support two major causes publicly, one that is liberating children from modern day slavery, and the other one is uh, the other one that is building schools and educating children in Africa. And just by using ClickFunnels, you are part of that as well, because every time you make a funnel live, $1 is donated towards one of those causes. And a dollar may not see much, but uh, the reality is it can feed an African child for a month. Okay, one more thing before we, before a quick recap and a conclusion. Um, if you spend some time in the community, you can feel that it has a stronger community or tribe than most uh, software out in the market. I wanted to give, uh, I wanted to add these notes to the review and you can decide how much you factor these into your decision. Okay, it's time for a quick recap and conclusion. If you watched or listened to the previous two episodes and this one, you can see there is a lot of great things um, going on around ClickFunnels, all focused on helping entrepreneurs to succeed, to get more leads and online sales and grow their businesses. We went through 20 strategic steps in this review series from the things to check before the trial like how you can see if it truly gives you the benefits you want, uh, if it really has the potential to work for you, and how you can avoid the pitfalls of misleading reviews, and why to avoid making the rush decision based on only one number, the price, and more. Besides those, we also covered the things to check during the trial, like what is the first and most important steps to take right after starting the trial, and how you can see if the company really wants you to be successful, and how to truly test the software and get the deepest insights of all that helps the most to make your decision and how to make the best out of your trial and what the hidden golden nuggets are and more. And now let's talk about the conclusion. My opinion is if an entrepreneur's goal is to get more leads and customers to grow their business, to keep things simple without technical hustles and do all that without marketing eating up their time and life, then I believe ClickFunnels is a really great all-round solution to that. They not only provide a marketing software, they provide various ways for entrepreneurs with any level of marketing skills to learn the relevant successful marketing strategies. Either somebody prefers reading or watching videos or a more interactive challenge format, they provide great options to choose from. And the big question is, is ClickFunnels the best marketing automation software specifically for you? The simple fact is, you are the only person who knows your current situation the best. And because of that, you are the only person who truly can answer that important question. In this review series, we went through a 20-step strategic review framework. Follow those simple steps, try ClickFunnels, test it yourself as well and you will be able to truly see if it is the best marketing automation tool uh, specifically for you. I will leave you a link in the description to the 20 step strategic review framework so you can easily follow the steps along. And with that said, this is the end of this review series. Thank you for being here today and let me share one more tip with you. Could this be the easiest way to gain your social media momentum? Find out how to get your next 100 days of engaging social media posts done in less than 30 minutes 
without hiring an expensive social media team. Go to 47smi.com to discover more about it now. You can find that link in the description as well. See you at 47smi.com.